Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to read Ori Stars. I am going to read it by myself today. So this is what it calls and look at this the font wrap bit. So nice. So look at the font thing. Once there was something who lived somewhere who was special somehow that something called herself Ori. She had been lonely in the dark for longer than she could remember until everything changed. Ori, Ori was rumbling her hands together to keep warm. Then a tiny flicker appeared. Ori was a cautionary. Astonished? Astonished. What could be it? She rolled it from one hand to another. She shimmered in the darkness. Ori couldn't believe she had made something so beautiful. She called it Star. Then she made another and another and another. The sky around her began to light up. Suddenly, Ori caught a glimpse of something in the distance. What is there? It was coming to towards her, nearer and nearer. Then with a swish, it was here. Slowly it reached towards one of Ori's precious stars. Please do not do that, Ori gasped. I'm so sorry, whispered the thing. Please could you show me how to make one of my own? I've never seen anything so wonderful. Ori smiled step by step. She showed the thing whose name was Bella, how to make a star. Then when the star was done, Ori was amazed. The star was bigger and brighter than any of the stars she would made before. She'd made it before. Just then, as if from Nowhere a little voice said Can you show me two? Me three came another voice And me four by one more things stepped out from the dark Please they begged Soon they were all making stars of their own I'm so glad I found you, said Beggar. I never knew there was anyone out there, replied Nova. This is so much fun, giggled Luna. Ori's belly fluttered as all sorts of colors and shapes began to appear across the sky. Wow, guys, look at the colors. It looks so nice. As they hopped, wizards down curly slides and bursted through thick clouds of stars. Ori realized she didn't feel that lonely anymore. And that, and that together they could make anything they imagined. In fact, they were having so much fun, fun that before they knew it, it was stars everywhere. There were stars everywhere. Oh my god, guys, look at the rainbow foods. Look at that. Wow. Bella even used some stars 
to make a bar. They pedaled around and around and up, 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 but all of a sudden, look at them. They was like, oh, like a roller coaster. They found themselves in the dark once more and Ori realized just how enormous the sky really was. There might be others, she whispered as lonely. As we are, we've got to help them. But how, said Bella. Ori had an idea, but thought alone made. Her belly aged. The friends must go their separate ways and spread their light far and wide. The others were was unsure, but Ori, she knew that there was no other way. We need to show everyone how to make stars. We fill up the sky. No one will ever be alone in the dark again. Ori's friends understood. They gave each other another one last hug. So Luna whiz, wizard to the east, Vega whoosh to the west, Nova zoomed to the north, and Bella dark, dark off to the south. Oh, they're all going separate ways. So. Until they were no longer in sight, Ori began slowly pedaling, make stars as she went. She had no, she, when she had finished her stars, suddenly felt flat quite alone. There was no other here to share her creations with. After a long, long time, the teeniest, teeniest twinkle appeared in the distance, and then another, and another. Look at that tiny, tiny, tiny star. Suddenly, stars began to appear everywhere, bigger and brighter, brighter, until... Finally, the sky was filled with stars and from that day on, Ori never felt lonely again. Wow. So this is the story of Ori's stars and look. Okay, so this story is Ori's stars and all of it is about its it's about you never alone. Bye guys. I hope you like our channel. Subscribe and like and make sure you get one of these books and read it. Bye.